my favorite thing. The fascination with space grabbed Judy Payette early. This is a book the future astronaut was given as a child. She's held on to it. Payette says what Apollo 11 proves is that inspiration has no borders. Watching astronauts on the moon on TV, even as a little girl growing up in Montreal, she knew she wanted to go to space. The fact that they were American and I was Canadian, that they were guys and I was a girl, or that they spoke this language I barely understood at, at that age, English, uh, was not even something I thought about. Against those long odds, Payette would make two space shuttle trips. She'd also eventually have the chance to meet some of her idols, the Apollo 11 astronauts. She calls Neil Armstrong simply the best of the best. Oh, I think these guys had uh, way more courage than, than I would ever have. I, I was following in, into giant footsteps. Well, Chris Hadfield caught the exact same bug. That inspiration would take him to space three times, including a six-month stay on the International Space Station, a trip that would make him a global celebrity. That's one small step for man. And it all started with Neil Armstrong stepping on the moon. Hadfield was only nine years old, but his parents let him stay up late. I resolved directly as a result of that hot July night in 1969, I resolved to try and turn myself into an astronaut. I just knew that I was going to grow up and I was going to grow up to be something. I could grow up to be that. Mark, good luck. The man who would eventually be the first Canadian in space was a 20-year-old university student back in 1969. But that summer, Mark Garneau was sailing to Europe. July 20th, he was out on the water with a radio. We were in the channel and it was about three in the morning when they when he stepped out onto the surface of the moon and I was looking at the moon and listening to it. Now for people around the world, Apollo 11 changed the perception of what was possible. But as Chris Hadfield points out, for some it changed the perception of what was possible for themselves. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Ottawa.